Welcome to Anatomy with Dr. Jasma. Let's talk about how pelvic PT can help with chronic pain prostatitis. I'm going to use some anatomical models in this video and if that's triggering for you or you just don't want to see that, go to my TikTok channel and you can watch the toned down version of this. You can see here the prostate sits directly on top of the pelvic floor muscles. Those muscles directly involve the penis. And if these muscles are angry because this guy is angry, then that can cause penile pain. It can cause pressure and pain within the pelvis and it can make you feel like you're sitting on a golf ball. That chronic pain prostatitis, that chronic pain syndrome, is because you're stuck in the DIP cycle, the dysfunction, inflammation, pain cycle. It doesn't really matter where you started out in the cycle, it still affects each other. You have pain that causes inflammation and reduced circulation. That's going to cause inflammation, which is going to cause reduced function, which is going to cause increased pain. And what we have to do is we have to break that cycle so we can get you out of that chronic pain syndrome, that chronic pelvic pain. Pelvic PT, how we do that is to work directly on these muscles. That is our, our, our greatest pathway to help you break that inflammatory cycle. I have my um, not so anatomically correct model that has an external anal sphincter and that little blue ball that I put in there, that is gonna simulate your prostate. So using lots of lubricant is gonna make it where you barely feel that finger going in. Now you're gonna feel pressure, but it shouldn't be painful. It feels kind of like having a poo, um, but you won't poo, I promise, I promise. But you're, we're just gonna go in and it's not even that far. It really, you know, it depends on how tall you are, essentially in your own anatomy. But once we go in, you can see in that video, that little blue ball that I put in there, that is the prostate. And all around the prostate are the pelvic floor muscles. And so we can move the prostate. And if you remember in that cycle, that decreased movement causes increased inflammation and increased pain. And so helping the prostate move better is gonna help with that dip cycle. And all around, all around the bottom side and around the prostate are gonna be the muscles of the pelvic floor. Now that is our, our primary way, our one way that we can truly, really affect chronic pelvic pain syndrome and chronic prostatitis from pain. So if we can mobilize those pelvic floor muscles and get them moving better and get them where blood flow can improve and where the neural supply, the nerve supply can improve, you know, that is gonna drastically change the pain that you're feeling. It's not something that's gonna go away quickly. It's gonna take consistent treatment. Uh, not just coming to PT for one or two days a week, but on your own, but we'll teach you how to do that. We're gonna help you manage that pain so that you can get out of that DIP cycle, that DIP cycle. I know from clinical experience that it's really um, uncomfortable and, and sometimes even embarrassing for guys to get treatment for this area. You know, there's cultural shame, there's um, social shame, there's your own ingrained whateverness that you had growing up that's gonna affect how you feel about this. But just know that this is a body part, like any other body part. I swear on my life, it doesn't hurt that bad. Uh, you feel a little pressure. Yeah, it's uncomfortable, sure it's uncomfortable. But it's not so uncomfortable that you can't tolerate it for just a few minutes to help truly affect your pain. I can guarantee I there's not a pelvic PT out there that just does it for fun. If they do it, they do it because they really feel like it's going to help you. And it does work. I treat men all day long, every day in my clinic, and we can help change chronic pelvic pain syndrome and chronic prostatitis from pain. Now, of course, just working on those muscles is not enough. We're gonna teach you breathing techniques, that diaphragm breathing that I've showed you in several other videos, where you inhale and let the respiratory diaphragm expand, since all this works is one big piston. As that diaphragm expands, the pelvic floor diaphragm expands, and that creates a lengthening effect on those muscles, and that can help stretch those muscles too. So, if you are just so adamant that you don't feel like you can tolerate an internal pelvic exam, don't let that be what stops you from seeking treatment. There are other things that we can do. We can work on those muscles externally. It's not as effective. 
um, because we can't touch them as well. We can't get to those muscles as well, but we can still work on them. We can still teach you ways to help manage that pain and help improve your quality of life. I truly believe that another reason that there's this stigma around it is because you don't know what to expect. So let's talk about that. You're going to be in a private treatment room. If you want your partner or a friend or even somebody else in the clinic, if you prefer, can be in the room with you. And if you don't want that, that's okay too. It's whatever is on your comfort level. Just know that this is a professional experience and that we're here to help you get better. Then what we're going to do is we're going to, after we talk, we'll talk about all of this. We're going to show you on every single model we have in the building how all of this works and how we can help you and then if you aren't comfortable with that internal exam don't be afraid to be like you know what i'm not ready for that that's okay we can work until we get to that point don't feel pressured into that yes it's gonna be very beneficial for you i'm not gonna lie it's gonna help but if you're so anxious or um so maybe you even have some kind of traumatic experience that prevents you from being able to to tolerate that let us know because we're gonna find ways around that to help you. Then, we're gonna have you disrobe from the waist down. You can leave your socks on. You can fold your clothes up and set them on the countertop over here. And then we're gonna have you on the exam table. Um, before you change, though, I'm gonna step out. I'm gonna go wash my hands while you're undressing. And then um, after you've undressed, you'll lay down on the table. Now, me personally, I don't care if you, if you prefer or you're more comfortable to lay on your side or if you're more comfortable to lay on your stomach, either one's fine, whichever one feels better to your body. And just like I showed you with my little anatomically incorrect model, you know, lots of lubricant, um, we'll move very slow, we'll have you breathe to help those muscles relax, and then we'll just see, are those muscles tight? Are they painful? Can we move the prostate? Does it feel enlarged? And then we're gonna teach you some breathing techniques to help those muscles move. And then we're gonna do some sustained hold on that pressure on those muscles. So if I'm, this is my finger and I'm, I'm within that space, I'm just gonna hold down. I may move to help create some length within those muscles. But we're gonna work with your pain level, your tolerance level, and your comfort level. You have body autonomy and don't let anybody tell you otherwise.